very, very brief. Um, first of all, I took notes. Um, I appreciate all of the comments that you all made. This is also being um, taped and streamed on the web, so we'll have all that information and all of these conversations um, are being brought into a report um, for the president. So I don't want you to think that this was just you know, a conversation that when we leave this room won't mean anything. It means quite a bit to us. So thank you for coming here and for people from all different perspectives. Um, and I think um, both Governor Granholm and Governor Dole have said it, and I think Claudia said it as well, that you know, there are values and common principles that we all bring to this conversation. And whether or not we pursue one set of uh, one strategy or another, we want to build those values into the self, the healthcare reform system that we want to have come out of um, the other end of this process. And the last thing I'll say is that uh, I, someone said when they were speaking, they were making a comment, you know, to the extent that the president is committed to doing this issue, to getting this done, you know, I commend you. And I just want to be really, really clear. The president is completely committed to this and this done. And you when we are sitting, you know, 10, 15, 20 of us are sitting around a conference table with him and the door is closed, that he is completely committed to getting this done. He recognizes the, the economic imperative. He feels the, the moral imperative to getting this done. And he wants to get it done this year. So all that I ask you is that when we leave this room, whether or not, you know, whatever sector you're in, whether or not you know, you're a person that's been personally affected by this issue, and we've, we've, we've heard you, we've heard what you have to say, that you continue to work and have the conversations with people in your communities, people in your associations, people in your business sectors, to make sure that we can drive this debate forward. And so that at the end of this year, we can all be very, very proud of the fact that we've made our lives better, the lives of our families, the lives of our children, for years and decades to go forward. So thank you very, very much for coming here today, and I appreciate that, and I appreciate your time.